Alexia, uh, with that introduction, I'd just like to point out that there are no small roles, only small actors. So looking at this topic of visibility, I was thinking about what was visible to me when I was in school and what were my interests. They mainly consisted of PlayStation. Uh, I was discovering makeup at the time. And my main reading material were sort of girly magazines. But things have changed a lot since then in terms of materials of influence. But one thing for sure was that international politics and the ICJ were definitely not on my list of interests. But now, there are so many channels of influence to the public and to youth, and they're a lot more varied. But when I think about not only the ICJ, but other UN institutions, and this topic of visibility, I often find that these institutions are very limited to the circle of people within international relations and international politics. Arguably, the ICJ can be seen as a totally invisible entity, especially amongst youth and the general public. So, in this idea lab that we hosted, which James mentioned before me, we had a multitude of youth come in and discuss this topic of how to improve the ICJ's visibility. And we believe it's important because it links to the effectiveness accountability and transparency of institutions under the 16th Sustainable Development Goal. And there were many outcomes to come out of this, but I'm going to focus mainly on two particular outcomes because I feel that the audience they target are very important to engage at this stage. So the first one was to update uh, the website of the ICJ and improve its visibility specifically amongst the youth and the public and also researchers. And such a website could potentially look like this. This is a very rough prototype, but the idea is to tailor the content depending on your background. So if you're someone who just heard about the ICJ on the news, your first port of call would be the ICJ website if you want to know more and you would go on the tab that's aimed at you, and the content there would be a lot more simple. It would be easy to understand, and legal terms would be explained. However, if you're an academic, you'd obviously go to that appropriate section of the website, and the content would be a lot more advanced. Legal terms wouldn't really need to be explained, but you know that all the information there is relevant to you and your research. The second outcome was the creation of free online courses, that too by the ICJ. And the reason why this is important is because education is mainly the key in improving accessibility. And most academic courses related to this field are only available at university level. So it completely eliminates anyone who doesn't have the resources to go to university but has an interest in international law and the ICJ. So such a course could potentially look like this and it would give the court more credibility because the information being sourced is coming directly from the court. And that's also creating a connection between the court and people. So these are just two very simple but effective ideas and they can be easily done. And at the very least, it will open up the ICJ to different audiences and create more awareness about the court and its integral role in the maintenance of global justice and peace. That too, aiming at people outside of the international relations network. Currently, we are being bombarded with a multitude of online-based information, and it's time for an esteemed institution such as the ICJ to occupy more of that web space, 
because now magazines and PlayStation games don't have as much of a monopoly when it comes to shaping people's interests. And who knows, if I played a PlayStation game based around the ICJ, I probably would have known a lot more than I do now. But in order to be a world court to its fullest extent, the ICJ has the opportunity to speak to the world and spread the importance of the court. And as it marks its 70th anniversary today, and of course within the context of the 16th Sustainable Development Goal, there really is no better time to do this than now. Thank you.